do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter human skeleton in that we are studying topic internal movements now if i say movements like contraction relaxation movement of your limbs are internal movements let's study and find out how does that work now internal movements of your body could be said as voluntary movements or involuntary movements of your body there are basically three types of internal movements in body or nature if i can say peristaltic movement contraction and relaxation when you eat food or when you engulf and chew food and the food passes down from your mouth and reaches to your food pipe or esophagus the peristaltic movement during eating of food that's one internal movement second is contraction and relaxation of your heart muscles especially when it is pumping oxygenated deoxygenated blood etc to different regions of your body and thirdly the movement of your limbs that's the trunk movement or your eyeball movement whenever you're seeing different objects also this movements which are internal have a great impact on the body of an organism so if we talk about internal movements internal movements can be with your will that's voluntary or can be without your will involuntary now there are basically three types of muscles that bring about this movement the peristaltic movement now peristaltic movement if i talk about is present in your elementary canal or in your food eating pipe your esophagus or your food pipe 
the continuous contraction and relaxation just to pull down that food particle. Also, constriction and dilation of your blood vessels whenever the blood is flowing to different organs in the regions of your body. They are controlled by the smooth muscles of your body. Now, contraction and relaxation of your heart is basically controlled by your cardiac muscles or basically your myogenic muscles. Now basically the movement of your limbs, head, trunk and your eyeballs, your retina if I could simply say, is controlled by the striated muscles present in your body. Also they help to maintain that equilibrium or that balance of ions against the gravity or equilibrium whenever you are doing any locomotion. They help in the food intake, whenever you are chewing your food or making it into bolus with the help of enzymes and saliva in your mouth, the peristaltic movements help to push down food further in your food pipe and just to make it pass down through your stomach where digestion could actually take place further. During your speech movement, especially in your vocal cords or voice box, now movement of your diaphragm and the rib cage helps in breathing. Now diaphragm is nothing but an arc shape bone present just below your respiratory or you can say your lungs and rib cage could be said as a protective covering for your lungs now both of them movement during inhalation as well as during exhalation is very important or you simply say it's very critical for the bones or for respiration to take place especially whenever you are inhaling the diaphragm moves and whenever you're exhaling the diaphragm moves at the same time creating different kinds of pressure now rhythmic movements of heart help in blood circulation or you can say the blood flow in the body so students in this part of the chapter we did study about internal movements i hope you all are very clear about this concept thank you